What is going on everybody? It is the Bytes 1654 here and today I'm actually going to be bringing you a quick video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to unlock uh, and complete the objectives for another operator which is going to be uh, Hunter here. He was actually one of the base operators that we got with the launch of Cold War. I'm going to show you how to complete his operator missions there and get all the new skins for him. So before we do jump into all that, make sure you guys do hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell notification so you do know when we go live and we upload here on the channel. So let's actually dive right into it and unlock these objectives for Hunter. So in order to get these or be able to even get this operator mission, you do have to have the battle pass. You do have to be up to at least uh, tier 10 within that battle pass. So it's a, it's one at the very, very start. They're not amazing brand new uh, looks and skins for him, but it's cool that they're doing it for the base operator. So in order to find him, uh, basically, I'm going to hit R3 here. And it's going to bring me right into where his uh, objectives are. And it'll be in customizing if you go to the operator um, himself. But basically, it's the first one's going to be 25 eliminations with a tactical rifle. So I'll just get like an M16 and just get 25 kills. Uh, I'm not going to show you that one because that's really simple. The next one I will show you. This one probably took me the longest in terms of the flashbang uh, kills. So what I'd recommend doing is playing in team deathmatch, not hardcore. And I would, and if you blind somebody with tactical mask on, it actually will not work. So you have to basically be lucky enough to hit somebody that does not have a tactical mask on and be able to let them be blind for at least a second or two, then kill them. And I'll show you a video of me doing that as well too. Uh, coming up here at the end, get 15 elimination using a flat jacket or EOD perks. That's super simple. It's just as easy as the uh, uh, tactical rifles. Just make sure you have that equipped. I got that done one game. I'll show you that as well too. And the last one here was a little bit tricky and I'll actually show you guys me unlocking it. Now it said here, get five kills with a score streak or kill streak strikes. So I thought any kill streak would be fine. I even did predator missile and I got four kills in one single shot with a predator missile and i thought that was what it would do but it's actually only two of them in terms of what i've done that are actually effective so you have to use either the napalm strike or you have to use artillery uh strike as well too so either one of those are actually going to count towards this because it took me like a couple games to figure out exactly which ones would and that's sort of the only two that i've actually personally done that'll actually be effective for you to complete this last mission here so make sure you're using either the napalm or the artillery strike i did this on hardcore nuketown I got it in less than uh, two matches there. So I'll actually show you footage of me um, unlocking at least the last three of these here. First one's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you the last three uh, in some footage here and some clips that I grabbed from uh, gameplay earlier this week. Let's move on over to that. Okay, so here's actually going to be the flashbang one. Um, we're on hardcore. We're playing, uh, I'm sorry, core. We're playing Nuketown. And I basically just ran around with one ready. And this is a prime example of how it would be done. So he doesn't have a tactical mask. And as soon as I see that plus 15, that uh, an enemy was flashed, that's when I can go ahead and try to kill the, the enemy. So make sure that pops up on your screen first, then charge in, you'll be able to actually get that kill, and then make, actually be able to kill him there. This one took me several games to do, but that's going to be the easiest way. Run around with one, throw it, hide behind cover, make sure you get that 15... Uh, plus 15 because it says flashed enemy if you get like a image of the tactical mask it'll be basically means that they're not blinded and it won't actually count because that happened to me several times and it never counted for me so make sure the person does not uh that's a little bit of the challenge there but that's the way you're going to do that one let's move on over now to the 15 kills with the flak jacket on okay and for here i just basically played uh hardcore nuketown I know I understand that I'll, almost all my videos in terms of unlocking operator missions, it's on Newtown. It's honestly because it's the fastest way to unlock them. I mean, if you play any other map, it's going to take you an extra two to three games sometimes just to unlock these. So that's why I easily just play Newtown because it's the fastest way you can get all of these done. So uh, we just unlock that there. Very simple. Uh, make sure you just have that perk equipped. Let's move on over to the aerial strikes now uh, in some uh, theater mode that I recorded that in. Okay, so we're in uh, theater mode here. Um, as you can see, basically the way that we, uh, did it there was an, uh, artillery. So it's a little bit hard to see cause I was able to capture it just briefly, but basically I had the artillery, which is right before the napalm strike and did it right in like, like the center of the map there and got about, uh, two, that was, uh, I'm sorry. No, I actually did a napalm strike there and, um, 
the artillery strike I did a little bit earlier into the game. But that, what that did was I got the last two kills that I needed. But that right there will show you the easiest way to get the most amount of kills is for sure hardcore on Newtown. Because everything's together. It's so much easier to kill them, especially when they're on fire there. So um, that's the easiest way to do those challenges there. I'm going to be pushing out more videos of other challenges just to help you guys the fastest way you can do it and the easiest way you can unlock these operator skins there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out if anything that you, that you need there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.